Olympia Valence, I'm happy being single. It's been a whole year since we last caught up with Neighbours star Olympia Valence and the drama is as hot as ever on Ramsey Street. Her character Paige has become a mother to son Gabe, but his dad father Jack is off the scene. After pairing her friend Ellie with Mark, Paige fights her feelings, but she can't deny he's her crush. If that wasn't enough, there's a murder mystery to deal with and missing sister Piper fights for her life, lost in the outback. Poor Paige. I think Paige is quite resilient, says Olympia. She's been through a lot in her life. She's almost got married and had a baby in a shack. Whatever happens, she'll be okay. Away from Ramsey Street, the rumor mill has been churning about Olympia's secret dates with One Direction heartthrob Neil Horan after she posted a picture of them on Instagram. We are quite close. I see him when I come to London and he sees me when he's in Oz, Olympia explains. We've known each other for a couple of years now. He spends a lot of time in Australia with his cousins. Here, the actress, 24, chats to TV life about neighbours, beauty secrets and visions of a soap-free future and how is Paige dealing with motherhood alone? Paige is part of a broken family and Jack isn't coping with her relationship with Mark. It's the happy family he always wanted and he finds it hard to watch that from afar. Paige and Mark have had their hurdles, too. They're finally together. But there was a love triangle with her friend Deli. Mark's in trouble, too, isn't he? That's right. Hamish has been found murdered and Mark is a suspect. Paige and Gabe are the last thing on his mind at the moment. He's really worried that he might go to jail. He is keeping Paige in the dark and that has a bad effect on their relationship. Is there any more drama to come? Oh yes. Paige's sister Piper is pushed off a boat and almost dies. It's such a good episode. We've been out to the location with the crew. It's down the coast in Victoria. It's so beautiful, despite Piper being on the verge of death. Are you at all similar to Paige? After being here for four years, my character can morph into me sometimes. I watch myself on screen, but I'm so not ready to have a child. I'm happy being single and I don't want to get married yet. Our lives aren't similar at all. You've become an auntie again.
Doesn't that make you broody? It's such great news, but Holly is at a very different point in her life. I'm only 24. I've got too much to do before I take that step. Is it true that you might leave neighbors and head for Los Angeles? Of course I think about the future and challenging myself with something else. If it were to happen, I'd love to film something that wasn't a soap. But at this stage I'm loving my job. I don't want to leave. If and when the time comes, what would you like to happen to Paige? I'd like to have a happily ever after. She's been pushed around by the men in her life. The only true happiness she's felt is when she had her child. It would be nice to see her with a man that could love and protect her, whether that's Mark or Jack or anyone. What are you up to in your personal life at the moment? I've just been on holiday. I'm having a chill time right now as my job gets quite exhausting. I've planned a few more holidays for the end of the year. I'm resting up now but I hope next year will be a massive year for me. What beauty products do you swear by? MAC Face and Body Foundation. I carry it with me everywhere. It's so light and gives me a natural look. What are your go-to cosmetics? Lip gloss and moisturizer. I always like my skin to look dewy and I hate this word moist. I have a huge makeup kit. It's ridiculous how much I travel with hundreds of brushes, mascaras and lipsticks. I use them all. Do you wear makeup every day? I get a full face of makeup every day because I work in television. If it's just a normal day, I'll put a bit of MAC face and body foundation in my hands and apply it like a moisturizer. When I'm on holiday, I hardly wear any makeup at all. It feels so good. What's your top beauty tip? I have a trick that I use if I get pimples. I learned it by watching drag makeup. If you create little dots over them with an eyebrow pencil, they look like freckles instead. Do you diet? I have to keep to a routine because I'm on TV. I love feeling healthy. I eat a well-balanced diet but I'm a huge foodie. I will treat myself now and then. How do you stay in shape? I go to the gym. There's a place called F45 in Australia. There's one in London Bridge apparently.
I use the app to choose a time and smash out a 45 minute session. Is there a part of your body you would change? Probably my hands. I have chubby fingers. My sister Holly has beautiful, dainty fingers. Would you ever consider going under the knife and having cosmetic surgery? Maybe when I get old and wrinkly, but at this stage, no. What's your signature fragrance? My go-to perfume is Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. Which women do you think are naturally beautiful? The most beautiful woman I know is my mother. She's so beautiful on the outside, and even more beautiful on the inside. She's the most generous, kind giving person I know. If I turn out like her, I'll be a very lucky lady. If you had to describe your style, what would you say? If I'm on the red carpet, I like a daring and dramatic look. I like to take risks. My everyday style is classic. Do you have a favorite shop that you turn to when it comes to buying clothes? I always get overwhelmed when I go into the high street stores. I bought a jumper from H&M while I was in Greece this year. Instagram went wild for it. It was ten pounds. What about designers? I really love what Gucci's doing at the moment. I also love the classic style of Chanel. The pieces I buy I will keep forever. Who are your style icons? My number one is Olivia Palermo. She finds the perfect balance between being original and creative while remaining effortlessly chic. I also love Monica Rose, the stylist. She uses lots of brands that people don't know about. Have you had any fashion disasters you can tell us about? There was one in the UK on the red carpet. You could see my boob tape. It was a bit embarrassing but I didn't care too much. It could have been much worse. How do you pamper yourself when you get time off? I like to go to the Crown Casino in Melbourne. Me and my girlfriend go to the spa for a massage and a facial, have lunch at Nobu then watch a movie at the cinema. What's your favorite hairstyle? An effortless beachy wave. It's really, really hard to achieve. My hairdresser in Melbourne, Lauren McKellar, nails it. I try to do it myself and it's impossible. 
neighbors is on at 1.45 p.m. and 5.30 p.m., weekdays on Channel 5.